our idea was to make more, have more people continue to produce, make it easier for them to have more people out, out on the ground drilling and make have less paperwork. So what does that do long term for the state? You've got more taxes still coming into the state. You, the general public, is paying less property taxes in the state because oil and gas pays a lot of property taxes. They're building the state up. Severance taxes are paid by oil and gas. The more wells that are in production are severance taxes. School taxes, sales taxes, all of those taxes oil and gas pay. So more wells you have online and more production you've got going, that's bet a benefit for Texas, but you want to make sure that we are maximizing the production. We can get it $50 oil or $40 oil, whatever the dollar is going to be going forward. And so you want to have regulations that make sense. And job creation is important in the state. Oil and gas today is about 30% of the jobs in the state. I consider this phase one of what we're doing. So I, we're looking forward to getting other ideas and other feedback from people about what we can do better as a regulatory agency. I think that's our continued job is to make sure we are improving so people can continue to do their job and grow grow their business. One of the reasons that states regulate better than the federal government, which we see the EPA is so huge and doesn't make a lot of sense versus what we do at the Railroad Commission. Good, good example, oil field relief initiative. If we're over-regulating them, then we've not done our job. That's not what my philosophy, I don't think this agency's philosophy has been. And long term really to make sure that oil and gas is strong in Texas. If we've got a strong oil and gas industry, we have, we have a strong Texas going forward. National Petroleum Council, in my opinion, is a great platform for Texas to show off what it does well. And also advise the Secretary of Energy, as well as other regulatory bodies as you get into this, and say, look, Texas does things very well. Here's what we do. Here are proven, tested regulatory things. Let us work if you're going to come up with new ideas. We don't mind trying some things in Texas that are new, but let us have a voice at the table because we're the oldest regulatory body. We ought to have a voice at the table. I think the National Petroleum Council is a good example of how we have a conversation and hopefully a good conversation with the federal government. If not, we've got to stay strong as an agency, whether it's funding, continuing to have good quality people and good regulations to make sure that we're showing what we do on the federal level. People want to hear our voice in general about what we're doing in Texas, particularly in oil and gas and energy, and I think this is a good place to have continue that conversation. Well, obviously the long-term goal is to make sure this is a strong agency coming into 2017. So with that, it's budget to make sure we're, we're fully funded. Finding and keeping good quality people. People ask what the biggest challenge is at the agency, I think is people, because we've got an opportunity to hire some people hopefully, but we're losing good people to retirements and other places where they feel like they get better jobs. I'm not sure there's a better job than at this agency, but, um, but I think quality people is really important for us. And then going forward, making sure that we are continuing to educate, continuing to have conversations with different parties who may not know what the Railroad Commission does, what we do day to day, and how important we are to this state and to really the long-term success of energy, not just in Texas, but across the country and across the world.